Hello, I'm a stake indexing director, and today I want to show you how to index the US Alaska Vital Records project in Family Search Indexing. This project consists of many different types of documents, um, marriage records, birth records, death records, and they may be written handwritten like this. So this is a little bit of a challenging project. Um, but I'll just go ahead and show you how to do this um, particular batch. So the first thing you need to do on an image is decide the record type. Now we have principles and relatives. So one individual on every type of record will be the principal. So we always index, um, index the principal first. Next comes the event type. So once again, birth, marriage, or death. This is a marriage. It says here, I'll make it a little bigger. It says here at the top, marriage certificate. Okay, now we have the principal's given name. And the problem um, with this project, with the marriages, is that uh, very often there's no indication which is the groom and which is the bride. So you just have to guess. Um, it seems that generally the first name is the groom. And so since the instructions tell us to index the groom first, we'll, we'll just take the first name. So in this case, it's William James. And then the last name is Fisk. And I'm, I'm seeing that right here. Um, next, the age. That's not given on this one. Next is the gender, and as I said, even though we're assuming this is the groom, it doesn't actually say that, um, that William James is male anywhere, so I'm going to leave that blank. Next we have the event date, so first of all is the month, and you have to really read through the whole thing, um, and it says here that the uh, marriage was performed on the 22nd day of December, 1904. Event place, um, again you have to read the whole text to see uh, where this marriage was uh, performed. And if we read through here, we see it was um, registered in Ketchikan, Alaska. So as you can see, I'm entering the entire um, place name, all the levels of locality, um, without any um, punctuation in between. Okay, so that's the first person on here. Next, we are going to index the so after the principal comes the relative, and in this case it's the spouse, um, the person that William is marrying. And unfortunately, once again, in this project, so you have this drop-down list and it doesn't give you spouse. So you're going to have to just choose. Since we assume the first name is the groom, we have to assume the second name is the bride and that would be the wife. Um, this makes me very uncomfortable to do this, but there's no other way to do this within this project. Okay, the name here, it's right here in this third line, Fanny James Williams. Gender, I'm going to leave blank. Even though I index this as the wife, I'm leaving the gender blank because it does not say that Fanny is female. Age, again, nothing is given about that. Okay, now you see that there are some more names down here, um, but we're told in the project instructions that we should not index anyone else. So other people whose names may be included, such as the names of witnesses, clerks, or informants, will not be indexed. Okay, so in other words, we're done indexing this particular record. Okay, going to go on to the next one. Just to show you, so this is another marriage certificate. On this one, we do see, um, it says, this is to certify that James Noble Duncan of Ketchikan, Alaska, and Miss Ethelyn Cresswell of Denver, Colorado. So here we do have the indication of gender, and in this case you would be able to um, index her in a good conscience as the wife as female. Okay, so that's what this project is all about. As I said, it's pretty, um, it's pretty complicated um, with all the different types of documents that you're going to see in the different types of formats. So just read through carefully, use your best judgment, do the best you can within the restrictions of the project, and I hope you have fun with it. Thanks for watching.